Welcome miniature fans. Today we are painting the Kraken by WizKids Games. Absolutely beautiful looking miniature. Um, I'm going to get this out of the box in a minute and we'll take a closer look. Um, and today we shall be going for some nice special effect paints from Green Stuff World that gives a nice, what I call a fishy colour. Um, so what I'm going to show you today is how to apply that paint and put it onto your Kraken to make it absolutely awesome. So, let's have another quick look at the box. It's beautiful packaging, as always, from uh, WizKids Games. Um, and it's absolutely beautiful. Now, I can't wait to get this out of the box, so I'm going to rip it apart and show you, and then we can make a start. So, this is what comes in the box. We've got all the little tentacles, we've got a little boat, with a little treasure chest with treasure inside, and we've got the Kraken body. And they all come on these little translucent bases now we shall be going for a nice special effects paint today and i will be using a green stuff world color shift paint this is storm surge green now the way this works is you paint it's a special paint and you put it over your miniature after you've given it a nice black base coat now they do recommend you can use an airbrush and you can also put it on by brush but what i'll be doing is I shall be painting the all the all the plastic areas with a black a black gloss varnish from Vallejo and once that's dry I'll come back and that'll be the primer done for this miniature and then I can show how to add our color shift paint and that'll give it a really wet scaly shiny effect to the Kraken and that works really well so I'll come back once I've got the actual primer added to the miniature so the miniature is covered with glossy black by Vallejo um, and I've done all the tentacles and the whole of the body. I've also painted in the boat and the little treasure chest and I've stuck all the tentacles to their bases. Now it's dry now and uh, you can see the shine coming from it um, and we need this for this paint. Now this is the special colour shift paint from Green Stuff World. This is Storm Surge Green and what we do this is when the magic happens. What we do is we just take a nice brush and we coat the black with this paint. Now I'm gonna just show you now a little bit. Um, and what you do is you cover the miniature in fine coats. And what happens, it gives a lovely fishy scale effect. Now if you watch closely, it changes and gives a beautiful effect. Now we just put this on very thin very thinly. I don't know if you can see that now, but it's there. We are, that's better. And it gives a very, very shiny green effect, just like a fish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this um, it, to all the black. And what we do is two coats, two coats. If the black is still coming through a little bit, you can do another coat. Um, if you like the black underneath, given a bit of shadow, then you can leave it with one or two coats. But look at that, it's absolutely beautiful. Now, like I say, very thinly, just put on your first coat. Um, and then once that's dry, we'll put on the second coat. Now this is gonna take quite a bit of time. Um, so what I'll do is I'll carry on. See the, see the reflection on that? It changes all lovely colors. You've got purples in there, greens. Absolutely fantastic, look at that. What I'll do is I'll, I'll add the two coats and then I'll come back. All the skin has been painted now with that special paint that I showed you. And it looks absolutely fantastic. It changes color as the light reflects around it all over the miniature. Now what I've done, I've left certain parts of the miniature with a deep recess of the black. So I've used the undercoat as a shade for this miniature. So for all the skin and all the tentacles, I'm not gonna do anything else because they just look fantastic. As you spin them around, you're getting all these amazing colors uh, reflecting and it just looks amazing. So what I'm gonna show you now is how to paint the clear resin bases. Now, I've always struggled with these um, clear, uh, bases and the clear parts for the WizKids miniatures. In fact, on any company's miniatures, 
Um, clear plastic has always been very, very difficult, but I have found a way. <laughs> I have found a way to get around um, painting your plastic. Now, all I all I do is I use some satin acrylic varnish. So what we do with this is I'm just going to add it to a little blister pack here. Now, it's white at the minute, but this dries this this dries completely clear so we want to get a nice little kind of blue watery effect to our little wave so what I got here is some army painter uh, blue ink wash and all we're going to do is add two or three drops that's all you need two or three drops to actually four drops I'm going to be greedy. Um, so all we're doing is adding some of the blue to our varnish and we'll just get rid of this cat hair there we go go away and all we do then is we just mix it in and what happens is that will give a lovely blue effect to the varnish and once this is dried on your miniature it just gives a beautiful blue transparent effect so what I'll do is I'll quickly show you so it's all mixed in nice there and once again we just grab our little brush and it's very simple all we're doing is we're adding it to the whole of the the whole of the plastic all the clear areas we're just going with a little coat all around just coat the whole thing and what happens when that dries um, you'll find it changes the whole plastic to a nice nice darker blue color and of course you can add more blue um, you, you can uh, do reds you can try you can do this with greens reds and any ink wash you just add it to the um, varnish and then just paint it on and once it's dry you get a lovely effect to your base once it's dried it should end up just like this so there we are I'll give you examples now I've done it quite light but as you can see uh, mine's got a nice little blue effect going all the way around and I'm going to do that to all the miniature including this big base here so I'll come back once I've added all the blue wash and um, we can just go to the last part and add some foam and effects to the water. We are almost finished now so all we need to do is we've got all our bases and they've all got this lovely blue now going through the plastic. All we need to do now is add that foam to each of the bases and all I'm using is a dry brush and I've got some nice white paint. I'm going to take some of that paint off the brush and what we're going to do is cut, like stipple around and we're just going to push it onto the base and this will give us that lovely foam effect going around. Very simple to do and we do this with all our bases and that will give that foam from the splashing water. Just on the tips of the waves and because we're just stippling on the paint, it gives a nice little effect. And there you are, simple as that. And that's our waves done. So I am going to finish all the waves. And as you can see, I've done the face as well. All I've done for the eye is I painted the eye white, I covered it with a yellow ink wash, and added a little stripe for the eye. I'll go over that with a gloss varnish. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish the main base, base with the foam all around. And I shall come back and I'll show you the finished miniature. 